Hey YouTube, doing a review on the Salvatore Ferragamo um, Giordano shoe. This was probably one of the first, I would say, nice pairs of shoes that I ever bought. I bought these back in 2012 and pretty much wore them religiously. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of deforming going on. They're not really holding their shape too well. I'm not going to lie, but I don't keep them in shoe trees all the time. Um, I usually keep those for my other shoes. Um, I've resold these shoes actually once already and you can see that it's about time for them to uh, get another sole put on. Um, the resoling I did back on I think it was around 57th and Park Avenue in New York City. They resold the shoe for approximately 75 bucks which I thought was a little steep. And the reason I haven't done that again was because I'm actually getting some wear on the uh, actual shoe itself and wasn't really sure if it was actually worth it. The shoe is actually pretty comfortable. Um, I'm not sure what line it is. It's probably Studio. I don't know if it's glued. If you pull the shoe from here, you can actually see there is some degree of stitching going on. Um, original sale price of these shoes, I think, was $4.95. Then they increased them to $5.95. I probably got them, I think, for around... 350 or something along those lines um, Size was a 10 double E. I feel that most Ferragamo shoes are pretty narrow um, The upper leather I feel is actually really good quality, but around the stitching around here you can kind of see that there's a lot of I Don't know if it's a different quality leather they use around here or just because there's more stretch at that point but overall the shoe I think looks pretty sharp um, Pretty decently comfortable. I did like them I hardly wear them anymore, but they definitely need some. They've seen better days. But yeah, definitely one of the nicer shoes that I had initially. But I think for what they are, they are definitely overpriced. If you're looking to spend that type of money, 500 bucks on a shoe, there's many, many better, better things you can get. I think Ferragamo kind of gets a cult following because of this whole buckle business that other makers try to copy. But all the shoes with the buckles are typically the studio line and they're garbage. But if you go with the higher end, the middle grade, the Laverozione, the Laverozione original, I'm probably pronouncing that super wrong, and Tremezza, if you're able to get those shoes for right five to 600 on sale, then you're definitely gonna get a quality product. These, however, as you can see, after just a mere like five, six years, pretty much ready to go in the garbage. All right.